I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking about using images and video in Google Forms. There's several different ways that you can do it, and there's some different strategies that I want to introduce you to as you consider um, how you might do this in your classroom. I've created a sample form that's probably worth uh, checking out. There's a link in the uh, assignment document. You can view the same uh, form that I'm looking at right now. Uh, so I have a couple of examples that uh, I'd like to show you. So the first one is just a simple image question. So in this example, I have uh, found an image, stuck that image into the form, and then in this case, I'm asking a question about that image down below. Now I did some modifications to this one. I found this using a Google image search, and then I um, you know, annotated it with the colors to actually ask the question. So this is a really simple um, way to add an image. Let me go to the editable version of the form to show you how this is set up. So on the uh, toolbar on the right side, you'll see the mountain icon. That's how you'll add an image. You've got a lot of different options. You can upload one, uh, you use your webcam. If you know where it's at, you can paste the URL in or access your own images from uh, Google Photos or Google Drive. I typically go and find my images, save them to my downloads folder, and then just upload them uh, into my form. Um, so my image is here, and then uh, the question is actually just a standard multiple choice question down below. Um, typically in the question stem, I might uh, add a little description uh, and say uh, use the image above to answer this question, just uh, so it's it's clear. You can also add you know. Um, instructions as I have here uh, above the image. So that's the first example. It's a very simple just image question uh, down below. Um, the second example that I have is um, where students will answer the question with an image. This is an exciting option. It's, it's one of the newer features of Google Forms. So I just have a standard multiple choice question. Um, this is for like a Chromebook quiz, and then I've added these images, which you can see are being used as the different options. So when I go into my editable form uh, to show you what this looks like, um, when you add your multiple choice question, you um, will see, if you look over on the right side, you'll have that little mountain range image. By clicking that, you can upload an image. Now these are uh, screenshots that I took, you know, cropped them really tight, and then I inserted them into uh, the questions. It is important that you have some text here, um, option one, option two, something like that, so that when your forms are graded, you'll be able to tell which of the choices they selected. So don't leave that blank. You can, but uh, you want something there, even if it's just a number or a letter. So that's the second option. Um, number three, this is kind of a fun one, uh, you can insert animated GIFs into your Google Form. Now an animated GIF is an image just like everything else, so you don't have to do anything special other than find an animated uh, GIF file. And I'll give you steps on how to do that, it's very easy. This is a great option for science classrooms or even math class where you need to show a short um, animation or a process and then again you're going to ask questions about that image down below. Images aren't the only thing that you can insert into your Google Form. You can also do video. Um, at this time Google Forms only supports YouTube videos and you can see that I've inserted a video of a Spanish conversation so students would watch this video and then I'm going to ask comprehension questions about that video down below. Nice thing about this is the video does play right here in um, the, the form itself, so students don't have to go anywhere else. Unfortunately, YouTube is the only supported platform, so if you have a, Vim, uh, a video that's on Vimeo or some other platform, um, you won't be able to embed it directly into the form. I do have a workaround for you though. Um, here in example five, um, you can insert just hyperlinks. So this is a title block and then I, in the description I just put the link and so students would click on that link. It would take them to, in this case, a Vimeo video which they would watch and then they'd have to return to the form to answer the question. It's not ideal but if that's your only option, uh, that's a workaround.
Now, all the examples that I've shown you so far are kind of based on quizzes, um, but that's not the only way that you can use images. I use images regularly uh, just as a design element to break up my form and uh, make it a little more visually appear appealing. So this image here is uh, like a section or title header. Um, I create these in Canva using their leaderboard template, which is just a long, narrow image. Um, you can uh, visit this example here to get more of an idea of uh, how I do this. It just makes the form look very professional. Um, as you can see, image just, again, clearly communicates what um, I'm expecting and people can uh, follow the directions on the form. So several different ways that you can use images in your form. I encourage you to spend some time, look at my example, and also practice adding images, video, and some animated GIFs uh, to your form.